be talking in this video because I am quite stressed. I have group, I have group mates, and they're not talking. Maybe they have, they're busy with other things. Because again, our class is not our, it's not their only class. But for me, it's the class that is the most hectic. It's more hectic than my chemistry class because for some reason the chemistry teacher likes me. So there's that. That appreciation, the arts teacher, is very stressful because it's technically it's not a quiz, so it's less stressful because it's subjective. So the teacher automatically gives a high grade because it's subjective. It's just stressful because we have to make a PowerPoint presentation. Ugh, just stress. It's just added extra stress for me. So yeah, we're hopefully this la this will be the last round for Toya's story. Toya's story is surprisingly long. Danji was like three or four. Toya's was like cup. Then again, I had one Toya section where I friend I friend fighted someone for who knows how long. <laughs> hmm. My chemistry prefer uh, we had an experiment today. The majority I what I did is I was walking around cleaning some test tubes st test tubes test tubes and spoons and that's about it. I tried to transfer liquids but they don't my groomies don't seem to trust me with that. Obviously, this I don't, I don't have to stay near the possible toxic gases or fumes. I don't know if it's toxic gases, but I'm not taking a risk. So, which means I need to study more for the lecture exam to help pull my grade up. Then again, it's just finals now. After that, I have to go to the next semester with math and introductory to psychology. My understanding, the self professor says I should continue with the course based on one of her remarks about one of my papers that I sent. I don't know if my grammar is good. Then again, my grammar has never been good. So there's that. Okay. Going with Bastion. The thing is, G3 Bastion is, e is more consistent than Grade 4 Bastion for only one reason. You're always nearly guaranteed to use Bastion's the Grade 3 skill. Because the Bastion's Grade 3 skill doesn't activate if you drive check the Grade 4 Bastion, which is so annoying. Which is so, so annoying. I replaced the dog with the girl, but the girl is kind of worse than the dog. Because the girl can't even be used to guard unless I have great rear So if my opponent has no has the ability to entire my rear guard, it's kind of a dead card. Uh, the dog's better it seems. But it's twelve thousand. It's twelve thousand, so it's one K short for being usable. But then again, Bastion gives like plus three K or plus two K to Grade trees or something, so it can still hit, even if it's very weak. I'm not really in the night this entry prayer. And that's two copies of my discard father. That hurts. Uh discard will be me. Uh discard. Uh cost me. I'm thinking of switching that card. Because that for sure is counter charging, but it will make you deck out first because you have the soul charge. I still find it annoying that sometimes this skill doesn't proc, uh, doesn't activate. This is annoying. Oh my gosh, I got. Oh, oh my gosh, this is the worst time to get an over trigger. Especially for Keter Sanctuary. Because it's like an early over trigger. Even Dragon Empire's over trigger, even if it's early, you get to draw, you get the second drive check. So you get. You get. The plus one draw from your drive check. Technically, the overture gives you a draw card, so it replaces itself. And you get another one from your drive check. The Catter Sanctuary is practically useless early game. Uh, yeah, the best overture over 
early game is the uh, Dark States one. Like, no car can beat, no Orger can beat the Dark States when it comes to early game pressure because like gives plus one crit and then gain power. I don't want the boss go. Uh, me complaining about school, but then again, I always complain. That's why majority time I just mute myself because like, want to hear that level of negative, realistic energy. Who wants to hear that? When they go out and watch streams or videos, they don't want to hear negative energy. They want to hear positive energy. And every time I do the streams, I don't edit them, so I just post it as is. And you know, when my stream vods had over 400 views on YouTube, like. I don't know why. Literally, I do not know why. I literally do not know why I have like over 400 plus views on that VOD. I don't know why. Oopsie, wrong card to call. Oh well. I got two cards. Oh well. Nothing. Heal is surprisingly good. Heal to my standing rear guard just in case I get double trigger. I did not get double trigger. Discarding this grade 3. Starting this card. It always auto targets this rear guard circle airplane for Bastion. For no good reason why. So sometimes I accidentally press that thing. Press this circle and just gives a power, which is sometimes very annoying. Technically it's always annoying when that happens. Like, oh my gosh, you could have done an extra attack. Uh, that's annoying. Then again, that's the downside playing virtually. You cannot do no you can't do take back. And again, in official turn play, there are no take backs. Oh. I can no guard this. If he creates, he creates. I'll be pushed to five. He needs to double crit. Oh, he runs a great four. Oh, do you run the grade 4? Do you stick with grade 3s? They each have their own advantages and disadvantages. The only advantages of running the grade 4 is triple drive. But you give up so much power for like... For it though. Like you give up so much power. Yeah, card this. And just take the up. You give so much power away. For the triple drive, Com like getting your persona right turn is basically getting a free front trigger. It is basically a free front trigger. And face. Oh. I have like four copies of that set order that turns. Grade threes into uh, boosters, and I'm not finding any of them. Ouch. Uh, okay. Swing gets plus five thousand power. Guards it. Then I swing again. Pages the swing. I got a grade three. I might. Oh, I got the heal trigger. I'm at 5, so. That is a booyah. I am discarding the effect front. Not effect front trigger. Then studying this card. Then swinging. It's not play with 5,000. And the plus 5,000, it, it keeps stacking non stop, so. So nice because it keeps talking. The 
does not have cards in this hand. There's two cards. I'm for, but then again, the Great for Nirvana can deal you one damage. But sadly, only Kagero can deal damage without a trigger effect activating. Which is like one of the best things. This gets plus five. Discarding heal trigger because Oh he should have stroke with the Vanguard first, but it looks like he's got the front. And he had no soul, so he can't use this card's freestanding skill. Double front trigger, and that's the effect run that gets plus 5,000 to rear guards. Running that front or running crits is useless in a flagbird deck. It's very useful in this deck though. Okay. Play, discarding the straight three. Swing, don't lose. Okay, 30,000 to face. That's the over trigger to pass. Sadly, I have no over triggers. Or it's, uh, yes, an over trigger to pass is more than two pass. Critical trigger. This is the attack pattern for Bastion, just in case you don't get your trigger. Unless you're Bastion Prime. Or you have to attack with all your rear guards, so if you. Ugh. If you don't get your triggers, you're kind of dead. I mean, if you don't drive check a greater, your your place, your triggers are dead. Is this the last one? Am I free of the story mode for their days? Am I free? Please, for the love of all things of Kray, please let me be free. So I can actually do rank now. Like, literally, I have the story mode to grind. Which I did. I grinded the OG. Then the brother, then Yu Yu, then Danji. Now finally Toya. So but they don't actually have voice actors and actresses voicing their lines, but then again, I think this came before they finally the English dub actors. Yep, I am online. <laughs> and what's my KBBS is 4,000 only. Ouch, I thought I made it to 6,000. Yeah. I thought I made it to 6,000. Oh well. I don't know, checking settings. No. Dream quality. Put it to 6,000. There we go. Oh, there we go. Made it 6,000. I don't know why it became 4,500. I don't know why. I really don't know why I made it 4,500. I want to know if the main characters in Dear Days or Dear Days only characters will appear in the anime. If they did, nice. If they didn't, well, it's because it's been so long since I actually watched the anime. Like, if finished season 1. So I ship you and me, right? Then again, the Danji you supporters. Uh. But that's the main problem with Vanguard. Or it's one of its qualities that we have a lot of uh, Yaoi fangirls or supposed to be fanboys and whatnot. Am I done? Am I done? I am done! I am finally free! I can finally do rank! I am finally free. I am finally free. I can now do actual fights with my favorite deck. The only deck I like playing here is actually, surprisingly, is my Flagbird deck. I edited this deck a bit. Like, what just happened? Rank fight. I'm only bronze, so it's like, eh. will I actually fight people to play with? I'm on Steam, so there's that. I am on Steam, so there's that. 
This part here might distract people, so maybe I should uh, say accurate with the screen. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, yes. She's a uh, cancel, just click cancel. Oh my gosh. Main screenshot edit. Oh my gosh, save. Oh well, the, I had technical difficulties because I was simply okay. I should just lock this now. Just lock, don't move it at all. I should move this here. Because dear days, because realistically dear days, this is my damage on, this is my opponent's damage on. Chat is here. Uh, this is like my webcam. Or I shouldn't just, I shouldn't do it. I just should let it stay the same, doesn't matter. Plus, I stream uh, Xenoverse too, so there's a chance. Oh, I only have like 3 wins in rank, which is kind of depressing, but then yeah. How many people actually play Vanguard Deer Days now? Where few people stream it? I don't even know how many people actually stream this game anymore. It's like, like besides doing the like, we are behind the main. Uh, we're we're behind the main. Uh, what was it again? The main game OCG, and also we're, we're behind the TCG. Okay. Oh, I got an opponent. I picked Toya as my avatar because I don't have I didn't buy money to get Kai. I like Kai. Uh, sadly, the season became the main character. Sucked so badly. I'm talking about the Legion era. One. Uh, referring to this one. I'm not talking about the magical girl arc. No, he didn't. Be, he wasn't the main character. That it was Emmy and. Ibuki who was the main character that one. Oh, oh V made it such a etchy anime. So many scenes. So many scenes. Okay, No guard. No guard. I get a trigger critical. First swing crit. If I run crits in the deck, majority of the time I do a first swing crit. Like, ugh. I have a pretty good percentage, and that's not even skill. My skill in Dear Days is double VP. It's double VP. Uh, I wish I have money for me to spend on this game. But the only way I can spend money is people giving money to my PayPal. So I can use PayPal to like. I have money on PayPal, but I'm still. Thing between Dear Days, Universe 2, or should I do a card stash for Duel Links or something? Yeah. We have about 2 minutes per turn by the looks of it. I don't think that's enough because there's a lot of card reading. But then again, unlike most card games, there's nothing to really uh -huh. read about. In like, majority of the time, you only have to worry about is during your turn. Your opponent's turn, you don't really care much about it because like, what can your opponent freaking do during your turn besides guarding? Only in premiums when you need to like think more carefully because like, they can actually do stuff during your turn that is risky. Uh, it's a still no guard for me. If only I got the trigger as my first damage check and I didn't get a trigger. Hopefully I can get a card that can easily be like, I'm okay with it discarding it. Did I get a card like that? Did I get a card like that? I kinda got a card like that. Discarding, then activating the spell. With one skill decreases my bug, gives me more cards on the board. I'm calling this card here. That was close. What happens if I place in the center columns here will be such a bad thing. Okay, let's check. I got a heal trigger. Picking this card since I can use my drop zone. 
for stuff. I should change my after to go Tetsu because it's like I'm using his deck and stuff. It's a front trigger, oh my gosh. Sadness. Front triggers are one of the best defensive triggers alongside draws and. Yeah, alongside draw triggers. They're like one of the best defensive triggers. It's like if you get a front trigger, your opponent can't do anything anymore. Like, opponent? So if they got triggered during their checks, drive checks. No, they can't do anything to anyone because like front trigger puts power to your entire front row, including your rear guards in front row. So they can only be attack targets if they get too big. <sighs> you will have at least four swing this turn. Four possible swings this turn, which is ugh. And he rolled a grade three first. He rolled the grade 3 first. So he got his card. Does he only swing with two two cards this turn? Or does he swing with more? He calls a grade one. I don't know what they do. Uh does kind of call the Uh No guard because any trigger effect they're gonna put it to the rear guard. Regardless, e they will never put the trigger effect on the bad guy because they'll never. Oh my gosh, they got the one that's very good. Okay. I'm taking damage. Ugh. Gonna take a heal trigger. I'm giving the power to my vanguard to make it harder to hit. Because if he attacks any of my regards, who cares? Like this one, too weak to attack the anything besides the. Rear guards uh, without blue, so same thing with this guy over here, so it's kinda like yeah. Swing with what does what does this do? One of this units place right. I, I don't have access to any of the pay DLC so it's like uh maybe I should just do it then again. I'll just wait for the sales because it's like uh, I want to guard, no guard. I got another trigger. I am now 30,000. This thing can't hit anymore. It talks to the rear guard, uh, which I do not care about, literally. What can you do that is scary enough for me to be afraid of like oh uh, my turn I can discard my inlet then use this card skill to bring or I can actually just discard this card to bring instead of oh I have something to discard I do not, not worth it. Then I call this card here. Then call this card. Okay. Here. Okay, do I have anything cool in my drop zone? I have nothing cool in my drop zone. Hmm. Uh, I'll activate this, play this. Cancel. Okay, first swing, second swing, third swing, fourth swing. I only have four swings, so play it. So blossom this card. Uh, entries. Activating this card skill, kind of last. <coughs> okay, first battle. 5k intercept, boy. 5k intercept. He did the 5k intercept smart. 
Okay, then activating my uh, symbols of last Confirm. Can't believe this is 15,000 now. Oh, must be the order card gave it plus 5. Intercept. Nineteen thousand. You can take the hit, boy, or you can guard it. Fire him. Guard all the attacks, except for my vanguard because it's like he has to discard three cards. He literally has to discard three cards if he wants to guard it, which is very annoying for him. Very nice for me. That's why Flatbird is a nice deck to have. Like, if you can do five battles, your opponent has to either guard all the pokes and take the big one, or take all the pokes and guard the big one. He either guards all the folks or takes the big one man. And bye bye board. Gets plus a thousand. He has to discard three cards. I mean garbage. Three cards. Oh, he just takes it. If I get a double crit. Ooh. Oh well. One crit. I run like eight crits in this deck. Double PG check. Oh well. Single damage. Brings him to four. I have seven cards, he has seven, I have <coughs> Okay, I have eight cards, but three cards on board. Which will be nice. I have a discard folder. Which will be useless now since I'm already at grade three. And that card's only useful when you discard it for the cost of riding. <coughs> if I remember persona ride is permanent, regardless if you change your vanguard once you ride. I just have to like why did he give it he attacks me regardless that's a smart thing to do. Does he give power? Okay, he always take the first attack of a multiple vanguard swing. And plus even if I guard it, it'll do nothing. It'll give all the powers to the rear guards who front trigger. Front is a good trigger choice for that deck. I'm taking two, but that power is gonna go to somewhere else. I'm taking two damage. Thankfully, it's just two damage, but if not, oh, it's gonna be a pain. Slugberg, you can do it. No, okay, that's where I finally got a draw trigger. Finally, do I get inlets? I got a critical trigger. Oh wow! Did not. In oh my gosh! I need one card that can do multi attack because sadly. Okay, what does this thing freaking do? Play in place, run of it, plus one token. You have to do crush your deck, you can make bonus triggers, you can put it on the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, if they reveal the great tree, they can put Cobalt Dragon, which is my main card here that I like. He's the our only way to get, the only other way is like, okay, he gets a grade 2, 0 and 2. Meaning I'm safe because I've only grade ones. Okay. Does he gain more power to bring in? Or nothing? Okay, I can just guard with the critical trigger that he does in his paper strike check. Wait, does he gain drive checks though? But looks, by the mere fact he's attacking with everything, he doesn't have it. Does he gain power? No, oh, he's giving part of the vanguard, by it seems. Uh, guarding with heal is enough, it seems. God. Confirm, it doesn't have drive check, so I'm safe. 
<sighs> okay, um, top deck block. Deck, don't save me now. He separates from his Deck, don't fail me now. And it didn't fail me. I can at least do 5 battles, my pawn's at 4 5k guard man that's a 10k guard it's a 10k guard this is 26 23 this is a 15k guard another 15k he has it he's like he has six cards in hand thing is i am one crit away from victory so he might actually guard the vanguard he might actually guard the vanguard because I'm literally one crit away from victory. I am literally one crit away from victory. Hey, do I still have enough crit? My over triggers in my hand, so I oh, feel sad because my over triggers in my hand. Okay, let's go again. Bye, bye, board. Oh <sighs> god. I heal him instead, which is good for me. I got a crit. Literally, I'm just one crit away from victory. This is why we don't run front triggers, even though front triggers are very good defensively. The flag burglars like. We want to get, we want to see our crit, because sometimes our opponent doesn't want to guard. And they can heal. For me. Oh well, but I push them to five. I can take one. I push them to five. They only have five cards in hand. I have a pretty good defensive hand. Problem is, I if he somehow can kill my Cobalt Wyvern Dragon, I'm dead. Sheesh. If he has any ways to kill these two, I'm dead. Those are the most important cards in my deck right now. I also remember there's like a one that allows you to drive check. Oh my gosh, it's that card. That card gives a, you a drive check. The reason I know that is because. Cool. The reason why I know that is because it was in Vanguard Zero. Cool. I, w I had fun playing that deck in the Okay. Because if he gets a crit or if he gets an over trigger, he heals, which is a, which is very good for him. Check uh, yeah. one. Please be Zest. Please be. Zest. Oh my gosh, it's not as bad as this one here, but it's it's very risky. If he gets the right type of trigger, right types of top two checks, he kills my entire strategy. Okay, it's just grade ones. I am freaking safe. I'm freaking safe because they're just grade ones. Oh my gosh, this is grade ones, and he can't drive chat surprisingly. Uh, no guard because he can't drive chat. And your number's pretty big. And you don't have a crit, and I'm only at 4. I get my lovely draw trigger. Power to Vanguard, and I draw. It's less risky for me to guard. Okay. Should have to swing with that first. Was it empowers the Vanguard or something? God. 
38, 38. Uh, I have to guard with an over trigger if I want to do one card guard. A little bit over, but that's the only thing I got. I think this is a great turn. Okay. Get strike, yes. 5, 7 cards in hand, and. Oh, I get my inlet. Okay, calling here. Calling this card to boost. In face. Cobalt Dragon skill. He just takes. Okay, intercept. Smart move. Very smart move, but inlet. The only thing it does is just prevents pressure, but the thing is it just it just does nothing. Thank goodness I have at least one card in the soul if I don't oh mind. This is only it's another triggered guard. He chooses to take it, hopes for a trigger. He gets a trigger, but it does nothing. He starts to this he has to guard with three cards in his hand. Because I have five battles. I literally have five battles, so he literally has to discard a card from his hand. When I do my flag burp. But here I love well, okay. It's very weak, very weak guards, which you can do. I have seven cards left. I didn't check my trigger count. Uh, advantage manager. It lets you do the trigger count check early. Uh, does this thing go to my soul or, or retires itself? Uh, but it looks like I cannot use you anymore. I get plus ten thousand draw, and I drew a non-trigger, so I have one more chance of not getting a trigger. He has to discard three freaking cards, and it's an over trigger to guard, and he just guard with so There's that. There's nothing. There's more nothing. And boom! But he only has two cards left in hand. I can still do my irritating plays. And that goes to my soul. So I get to draw one more card. And is it a flag bird? It's a critical trigger. He Persona rides. Then. Does he have Zest? <laughs> Thing is, I have like two perfect guards. So. I have two perfect guards. I haven't seen their perfect guard. No, I haven't seen their over trigger yet. I haven't seen the over trigger yet. If they OT here, that's gonna be such a win because OT allows them to drive check. Every single card gets a drive check. Wait, wait that, what was the drive check? First drive check. It, it was a grade 2 or something, so you can't use the skill, so there's that. He can? Oh my gosh, this one gets the dr single drive check. I remember. If he gets over trigger here, it's gonna be okay. It's just a grade one perfect guard. Uh, 
this is 45 so this is 30 Uh, 30 plus 13, 43, I'll have enough Oh my gosh Either way, regardless, I still had to do this. Well, okay, what will be my draw card? He literally has one perfect guard, though. Okay. Please. The opponent surrender. Thank you very much. Yes. Hmm. Who fight you fight? I am literally the only person. I got an opponent. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, if only that was a draw trigger. Oh, well. beggars can't be choosers because it's random. So. I'm discarding the draw trigger because. Okay, so we this first. If I get the trigger, yes. If I don't get the trigger, well. It's three attacks. If he get, he just no guard, it's a no brain. You no know guard the first swing. Hope for the best. You no know guard the second swing. If it's still nothing, then it's just a sign you just guard it from here if you're willing to guard. It's no brainer. And poof, you no know guard it. You say one card, and instead of losing a card, you gain a card. Like, first checks, first guards, you just take them. Like, the first two guards, you the first two damage you just take them, and that's it. The only time you need to guard is like if you're in a 
higher level of play which requires you to think specifically do you think you can take but then again you always need at least one or two damage because most skills require you to have counter blast which is damage that damage which has cards face up counter blast oh my I'm the only person doing actually card drive Vanguard Zero. My friend is doing something with Vanguard Zero, but it's not Vanguard Zero. He is like streaming his lecture or something. I don't know why. And he's been doing it for like one hour plus. So it's like. thinking one swing then two three four only one damage so I literally only have one damage oh uh, does the Dante only have one damage I'm trying to call it. Dude. In mold against multi attack decks, you just take it. I don't know if you get the damage trigger again. <coughs> Do I want to draw a card? Do I want to draw a card over uh, the. I want to draw a card. It's more advantageous for me to freaking draw a card. Yeah, but it's more advantageous for me to draw a card. Because, uh, sure, I'll anyway, just pay one counter best, but drawing cards is more advantageous. I draw a card. He chooses to take this. Okay, okay PG. Great. Draw card. Cobalt Dragon, great. Great card. I just have to take a lot of swings. My point will be 3 unless they heal. They get the front. Yeah. I'm 6000 plus KBPS. They're now great. 3 now, which is great. The only thing Yu Gi Oh has over Vanguard is that they have very good summoning animation. But that's only in Duel Links. That's like comparing Duel Links to the defunct Vanguard too. And Duel Links is still better with the animations. Because they have custom animations. Duel Links has custom animations. Vanguard Zero is just reuses anime footage. Sometimes they don't even pick the best anime footage. <coughs> Either target I'm fine with, I do not care because I have Cobalt and Inlet in my hand, so go to it, Hoss. I do not care. I'm only at one, I need all the damage I can get, man. I need all the damage I can get. If only I got one more damage, but then you know, that one more damage would have done nothing because his first third damage was a front trigger, so uh, I got the freezing. Uh, I'm giving the power to here. Never mind, I'm giving power to the Vanguard 6. That's a normal thing to them, plus, those two rear guards don't really care much about them. I literally do not care much about them. 
go the other one, I do not care. Do they go back to Sun or they counter charge? Or they go to the soul? Oh, they go to the soul. I just need. I thankfully run four copies of that rearguard card, but sadly he will have no rearguard for me to swing at. So I'm gonna save this card for later. And I actually need a persona, right? Saving you for later. You take the first hit when it comes to facing flag, but just take the first hit and hope and hope for the best. Just literally hope for the best. This is the second battle. Going third would do nothing for me, right? The third guarantees my draw, right? Uh, three more to draw. Guarantees to draw. This will still be guarded because I made drive check on third, which is very highly likely in Flagberg because we mostly run crits. And speaking of crits, I did not draw my crits, so there's chance I made drive check it, so. <sighs> At least he doesn't have their over trigger. Meaning an over trigger is enough to go over this. Which is. It's a heal trigger, which is bad. No, I can I'm still at two damage, so it's like I am literally at two damage. Well because it double swings. Having this type of heal over the gen over the generic heal. It's a very it's a techie play, depends on the meta, it's always depending on the meta. It's always completely dependent on the meta, but then again, there's more cards that restun the rigor, so it might be a useful pick. Oh well. A draw trigger that could have been used, oh well. No guard. Okay, how much damage? Doesn't, doesn't care too much kill, too much of my regards, I'm okay. One damage. I don't have an inlet. I do have this thing, so... This thing swings at the rear guard, so it restands, and I do not care. The only he can is like he double crits me. That's the only thing he has to do. Like he has to literally double crit. 
Crit number one. Do you double crit me and, and I jinx myself? If I jinx myself, don't really care. It is, this game is not so important that I would that would be crazy of being double crit. Wait, it's only one drive check? Oh. I'm taking two damage. I'm being pushed to five. First check. Uh, oh my gosh, Inlet. I was taking of you. So easier time to guard this thing. I still need to guard the actual trigger, an actual good trigger for you. It guards, but barely. Oh, I can guard one of the useless grade ones now that I have because it's like I can use this card now to fight because, it's, because they're completely useless to me in my hand. And no guard. He doesn't know people run like four copies of that. It'll just force me to call call it. And that's literally it. It will just force me to call it. Okay, what did I get? Uh I got a critical cobalt, maybe just Calling this here for more power. In phase activating cobalt skill. The blue swing because I need to do five battles a turn. <coughs> it either way it's gonna die. Either way it's gonna die. Either will die via my skill of Flagberg, which I'll activate at 4 battles, which I can definitely do 4 battles, 26, 23. One trigger to make it easier on himself, the chooses not to do it. Just the second battle of the turn. Twenty-six thousand. It is a fifteen k shield, which he should have had when he got the critical trigger. Then this one, oh, another fifteen k shield. He has to guard this. Perfect guard discards whatever he added to his right deck or something. I'll be able to draw a card and my opponent has to take this or guard three cards from hand. I'll most likely take this then discard three cards from his hand. One crit. It only takes is just one measly crit to to uh, yeah. That's why you run nine eight crits or something. If he heals, which he can't unless he's C six damage heals or C six damage heals like yeah. Or they did over trigger. I think they guarded with an over trigger this game. They guarded. Okay, it's a win. Thank you very much. Now I have clocked up total points, and I've streamed for close to an hour now. Now that I am gonna go check my Let's check anything. Okay, filter grades uh, three, two, and one. Apply filter. Display. Don't need it. So don't need it when this is oh. Don't need it when this is. Our background has three more units. Combo draw card. If 
Dwelling Guard is greater grade, this thing has plus 10,000 power, consumes counter blast, useless to me. It's a different ride line. This is useless because sure the parts are but it's practically useless. When your grade 3 vanguard is placed, you may call this card to rear guard. Useful for being this card fodder because it's like you're gonna ride to grade 3 eventually. If you keep discarding this, you can fill up your board with this card. But is it that advantageous? No. The grade 1 is still better. If I could, if the, but the problem is the grade 2 version of the grade 1 is not available to me because it's in the DLC pack somewhere. It's just a 20k shield. Oh. It's a different ride line. I run four copies in the deck. Different ride line. Ride line. If you uh, have four more records, 15,000 meter. That is one of the order. Oh. It is very weak, so at minimum, for each Legion gets, for each other rear guard, so it's like you have one, this is just a 10k beater, if you have like, if you have like four, four, four others, that's plus 20, just makes it 25. Not worth it for the soul blast, so if it was soul blast one, yeah, it would be worth it, but soul blast two, not worth it. But you run four of that. I think I run four of this. Right, that's the shiny one. This is twenty thousand, but it's so so specific. Make room for the shinies. Since you can craft the shinies, mm, I just wait. I forgot to check what the cards do. Okay, does nothing. Does nothing for me. Uh, does nothing to powers too weak. It does not help with the main gameplay, which is multi attack.
This might be useful because it's like this would be like the second to last attack, like the fourth attack. So like one, two, three, four. Four times two, eight, eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand beater, but not worth it in the end because too weak compared to what the other cards can solve. which is restanding when this attacks are greater. Greater is 15k beater when this attacks are Oh, this turn, this thing gets plus 10,000 power. More useful as it uh, gets plus 10,000 power. Sport Battle Contingent, which is majority of the time, it's highly likely your Vanguard that's gonna be the Sport Battle, so not that good. But it's free, so there's that. What does Glitter do? One crew grade equal to or less than your from Magni call the rigor and discard the rest. Very useless card. It has low power and it has a weird contingency which you can only take at the fourth battle. Oh, it has an extra crit. But still a bit useless when this card intercepts. This one is basically my dis discard father. If not, let me pick a card from every drop zone for stuff. Uh, my discard place, choose one of your other guards. Then you get suspect on the end of turn. I immediately. Oh my, it is shiny and it is. Ooh. Full, sc full art. Oh my, it gives a useful ability as a grade 1. It is tempting to use this, but then it's Counter Blast, Soul Blast 1 for the auto skill. But I use that in premium, so might as well. But it's a card. But then again, it counteracts with Flag, uh, with Inlet. But then again, if you don't have Inlet, this is an okay -ish card. Let us see, do I have space? <sighs> I do not have space. The only way we can make spaces is by discarding this card or removing this card. Card display. This place if your vanguard's flagberg. Okay, this requires flagberg and so long story short is basically this card except it's more expensive to use uh, This might be tempted to put more of because it's a 10k booster with intercept. Basically, it's a great one that is a with great two stats. Literally, it's a great one basically with great two stats. I 
just saw a car with grade 2 is agreeing but with grade 2 stats Do they have a unique ooh flag for the floor? How much is this to craft card display? Is there a better inlet? Okay, there is a better inlet. <laughs> Pulling out the my flagberg deck in dear days.
Algae Pixie. Hey, what are my heal triggers anyways in my real deck? Is it a TD or is it something else? I am not even sure. I think it's just the... I'm not even sure. I have to check my deck for that. どのデッキを見るんだ Anyways, I'll end it here since there's nothing more for me to do, and it's late. Technically, it's just eight. I could just keep grinding. No, no, never mind. I'll just keep grinding. Plus, I just bring out my flag bird back. Might as well use it. One round. While I wait, then again, it's not many people on rock. Like maybe I'll get one or two games before I have to go to sleep. Sheesh. I'm going second, which is not ideal. My hand is just so shiny. I put back a crit, I gain back a crit, they're all shiny. Which is a seizing hazard now. That's just I have I have two crits out. I literally have two crits out, so that's a bit scary for me because like I have cards to guard with, but it's like uh, I didn't get a trigger. Or, uh, I moved it to the front and then did nothing. Move to the front. Hope for something. And then it did nothing. Oh wow, that's the fact that like sometimes you get duds. 
That's dark states? Then what card is that then? That is one crit down. I have like three crits out, literally. Guards the swing, which is random. He's just gonna be wasting cards. It does not go through, but it does. wait, how much is the power here? Uh, if I just give the power here, it'll, it'll literally go through. It'll literally go through. He literally needs to offer a trigger here to stop this thing. One trigger will stop the onslaught. Nothing and one of the most powerful cards in the game that's grade one is out. Oh, two of them are out technically. This is a great tree. Oh wait, this dragon tree. Dragon tree markers. That's why I didn't recognize it. It's dragon tree. Giving me two down, but uh, I don't care. Unless it has an on hit, does it have an on hit? Okay, when this unit attacks the bounty, your choice will face up. Right deck, remove it if you didn't remove card. Let me right deck be. No guard. He gets the trigger, heal is good. Whichever dies, I don't care. This card is a little bit more useful, but this but this card starting gave you so it's just useful since so it's not that high. 
this card could actually attack this card though. He must have misclicked or he's really aiming from your rear guards. He's really aiming from your rear guards, which I do not care about. Is it Zod or nothing? I literally do not care. Okay, heart of the card. Give me something else to discard. Which he did. And activate. Calling in left. Calling. Calling Cobalt. This is a 19,000. This is a 10k guard. Unless he triggers, unless he guards it, yeah, 10k guard. Okay, no trigger, please. No trigger. Ooh, that's a PG. One PG is gone. And this is the third battle. This is another 10k guard. Do you have a 10k guard? You do not. They have a heal trigger to guard. I think they'll also guard this thing as well because it's like, what else are they gonna do? Or they take it and hope I don't double crit. Which is very likely since I have three triggers that are crits that are out. For me. To them, they only know one crit is out and they haven't seen any other crit. Oh my overture went to my hand. At least I have something to guard with. And they have to guard with three cards at the time to block this. Or they can take it. Worst case scenario, they lose because they double crit. Best case scenario, I am dry as the desert. I am dry as the desert. Desert have one S or two S. I know desert and desert, desert, desert and desert. They sound so similar. I only think that differentiates each other is that one of them has an extra S. I have two PGs in my hand. Did they over trigger or something? I'll guard these two, take the vanguard. Uh, it feels like I don't have an inlet or anything to... Oh my gosh, did he just retire my entire board? Oh, he put the entire board into my screen. Which is practically worse. No guard. Since you need to double crit. Front trigger. A grade one. I just take two damage here. Nothing inlet. I needed you. Uh, PG. This thing. Oh, let through this one. I have to guard you. No 
guard's too big. Where are my draw triggers? But then again, I only run three draw triggers in this makeup. Okay, I got a bug trigger. Call. 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 Activating counter block skill. If he takes one trigger, if he takes it and gets a trigger, it stops this and this from doing anything. It literally stops them. He gets a trigger. Ugh. I swing at the rear. Those two things will die, so he should just let them die. Those two things will die. If he chooses to guard either of them, it'll just be a waste. Okay. This is a 15k. This is a basically an intercept. Intercept. Who oh, doesn't choose his intercept? Oh my gosh. Do, does, did he not exhaust my blackbird? I did my blackbird turn. It was full swing. He now has to guard, ditch three cards from his hand. Yes, no, ditch three cards from his hand. I draw a card. He has to ditch three cards even though the even though it's just like one card card board, but he has to ditch three. He literally has to ditch three. He has to guard with three cards, he will have to overguard it. Overguard is the only thing they can do. And they have less than two, 15 seconds now. 20. Less it's gonna reach less than 10. Okay. He uses a perfect guard. This thing will activate. This will force to be activated regardless. He ditches a he only has three cards left in hand. Now. Nothing. Uh, another not oh I got a draw trigger at least. Okay, if next turn these things go bye bye, I have these two to possibly do some stuff. Perfect guard, perfect guard. A lot of my triggers. One place, come let's choose one of your triggers without dragon tree. And put a dragon tree marker. If you have one grace, play three greater. Uh, so we should choose one greater to earn some columns this card. Great then. They go to my soul. Yep, perfect guard. Yeah. Gosh, I have my overtrick here, so uh, it'll be a it'll be less strenuous, but it's fine. Blade one, so first one will be here since you have nothing to guard with. Okay. Vanguard, 
Run trigger. Nothing. Is this triple drive or just wind drive? Okay, it's just wind drive. I wish life was easier, but that it isn't. It's extremely hard, especially the more complex society becomes. Uh. Okay. And phase. Go. If only that card was like a uh, grade one or something, or even the trigger would have been nice. This will literally do a uh, um, giving the It's only 2000 power which basically does a nganga which is Filipino for it does nothing as a sound and he only has two cards in hand and this is the fifth battle so no way he will survive is he over triggers yeah he literally over triggers his six damage shield unless they drive check crits to counteract that do you even have crits left in the deck? one two three four four five Six. So I have two left in the deck. No, no, I have three left. And none of them came. Six damage heal or something. That's the only way they win. They get a crit. And I won. But barely. Anyways, I think that's good enough. It's already 8:30, and and this is more. It's becoming more of a grinding rank stream instead of the Toy Story mode stream. So I'm gonna end this and prepare myself to go to sleep, which will most likely not happen. I'm most likely gonna stay up like one or two hours more. Maybe I'll stream again with Duelings or Universe 2. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye and I'm gonna exit. Going to return main menu. And quit and end stream.